Hello, good morning once again, you all to Mamu Javis, and we'll be considering grade 10 mathematics. Uh, we've segmented mathematics for the purpose of our uh, work into algebra, arithmetic, and geometry. Today we'll be taking on the first phase of our learning, we'll be taking on algebra. We'll continue with our work on indices, solving some problems, and the technical reference is going to be uh, essential mathematics for the third, what we call SS1. All right, so we'll go straight away as we go into indices. Now, our focal point will be on exercise, exercise 4.2. And that will be found on page 49 of our textbook, Essential Mathematics. So I will, I will try to take you through the problems there and trust that uh, you will be able to flow with me. So let's take the first question there. Question 2A. Question 2A says, um, 10 raised to the power of 3 times. 10 to the power of 2. Sometimes some writers will say 10 index 3, 10 index 2. You're also correct. So here, testing the law, we are multiplying this and the same to just the word 10 to the power of 3 plus 2, which will be what 10 to the power of what, 5. Is that okay? So let's go to B, question B. Question B, we have 7 to the power of 8 times 7. Power of negative eight. What would that give you? That would give you 10 times 7 rather the power of 8 plus negative 8. So that would mean 7 to the power of 8 minus 8. And that's 7 to the power of 0. What do we see 7 to the power of 0 is? It's equal to 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Let's not forget this. Let's go to C, question C, we have 15, 8, the power of 0. Now remember that anything with the power of 0 is what? 1. So this will be interpreted as 15 times 1. What does that give you? That will give you what? Because 1 times anything will give you anything. Right. So let's go to D. In question D, we have 6. The power of negative one, and I said that this six to the power of negative one means one divided by what six. The negative b here means what one divided, and that will give you what one over six. Right. Therefore, e for e we have two raised to the power of negative four. This one is interpreted as what? 1 divided by 2 to the power of 4, which will be 1 over 2 to the power of 4. Now, take notes that I have not tried to simplify my answer out. If you do that, are you wrong? No, you're very correct to simplify out. If I simplify out, this will be what? 1 times 2 multiplied 4 times, and that will be 16. But remember that that's not the focus of the topic. The focus of the topic is to see how you can effectively implement your knowledge of the world indices, habit, the laws of world indices. Right? So if we continue with our exercises, we'll go to question F now. So F, what does it say? 7A, all rest of our negative 3. What is this that we as 1 divided by 7B? Is the power of what, 3, which will not be equal to 1 over 7a or is the power of 3. Now, notice that I'm not in a hurry while solving. I'm taking the problems step by step. And it's so important for you when you solve problems to take the ideas step by step. I've taught students over the years for close to seven years I've been teaching now. And sometimes one of the things I notice is a problem with students is this you want to jump process through. Your brain is a computer, it needs to be programmed. So the essence of taking you through these problems gradually is that your mind is programmed so that when we program your mind in the correct way, you 
you see problems and be able to pick out or better still take decisions for yourself. Now, this is because of this one over seven is the power of three and eight is the power of three. Now, take note of this. This uh, you could leave the answer like this. So, what I've talked to you, you could have left the answer like this. But I decided to go a step further. And I will not go beyond this. But if you want to have talked, if you have stopped here, you are very correct. Right, so let's go to G. In question G, we have H which is the power of 8 divided by H which is the power of 2. Now, division means subtraction. That will be H which is the power of 8 minus 2. That will be H which is the power of what? 6. Now, question H will be 116, B to the power of 7. Divided by two. Now, you notice that the way I will solve this will not be the same way I will solve this. In this step of I will have to write like this. Because if I write in this way, it comes easy for me to perceive what I need to cancel out. That's why I write it like this. But I know there are some students who are looking at this and know that okay, this is divided by two, and then this will be seven minus one. But just to be very careful. Now this will give you what? It's one. Now we need b to the power of seven minus one. If I write in number, it is same as b to the power of one. Forget this. That's the idea we are playing with. And this gives you what? It's b to the power of what? Okay. Now we go to i. You have two n divided by eight n to the power of negative three. Now look at something very interesting here. Now you have negative three. So what I'm advised to do is to take care of this. So now we go to two n divided by watch eight. When you change this, it becomes what we want. And Q. Remember, we said that look at this. So maybe I just put that in one way to the corner so I don't forget. And this is power minus 3, the same thing as what? 1 divided by what? And this is power 3. I see that. So this will multiply that. I know from your elementary maths, this will be 2n times n q over what? 8. See that so at this point you can do your calculations for two. This becomes what? Sorry, for one. Sorry about that. So this will now be what? N to the power of one. Plus three all over what? Four. Now give me n to the power of four over four. All right. So that takes care of that one question I. Right, so I will then so question J says three into three a to the power of zero, three a to the power of three, sorry, all over nine a to the power of seven, or is the power of zero. Times three x raised the power of negative one. Now, in solving this question, we said that anything notes that anything raised to the power of zero is equal to one. So the whole of this will be equal to what one. So this will be three times one times three what over x. Remember that x raised to the power of minus one is the same thing as what. 1 over x. So, what does this one now mean? This one will mean that this will be 9 over x. And that's all the last question. G. What about question k? You have what? It's quite a very lengthy one. Uh, some of these questions might be too long, frightening, but they are not that difficult. Um, Y squared all over four R Y cubed 
Rest of the power zero times what? Eight x. Or is the power negative two? Now, in solving this question, deal with this part to the power of zero that will become one. So this will now be eight to the power of negative one times what? Eight x. Or is the power of what? negative two? So what's the next thing? This eight is one over eight, so it should be one over eight times x times eight x, or is the power of negative two. This eight will cancel this eight, and you will be left with x to the power of what? negative two, which will be one over x to the power of what? two. So sometimes in an exam, don't be carried away by that. The question is looking so difficult. No. Calm down and see whether when you apply the principles. Right. So in question L, we have that the question says two times only about six e. Times 16 into the power of what, 3. Now, I'm going to take a different approach to solve this because I, if you remember my introductory note, I said that I was going to be solving problems with um, approaching the topic of indices with the concept of prime numbers. When you look at this expression on the board, there is a unique prime we have, that is 2. 2 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number. Uh, to be very sure about that, if I look up my video on arithmetic, that will also play the game of this. So 2 is a what? It's a prime number. So this will be equal to what? 2 times 2 raised to the power of what? 2 or raised to the power of what? 6 a because 4 is actually 2 times 2 times 2 raised to the power of 2 times what? A cubed. So what do I do? This will be 2 times 2 occurring 6 times. Please 2 times 6. So that will give me 2 raised to the power of what? 12 A times 2 raised to the power of 4 times A to the power of 3. So this will give me what? So it's about 1 plus 12 plus 4, and this will give me a to the power of 1 plus 4. So what does this give you? 12 plus 4 is 16 plus 1, that will be 17. So that's 2 to the power of 17, and this will be a to the power of 4. Now please bear in mind, somebody can solve this in another way and get an entirely different answer. It will be correct. But remember that I had said that my focal point in handling this topic would be to try to ensure that I take it from first principle of a pool, which is to understand your knowledge, to test and to improve your knowledge of what? Prime numbers. Okay, so that's that sort. Let's come to N. In question N, we have 10 P to the power of 5 Q R to the power of 3 divided by 5p, q, r. The first thing you need to do in solving a question like this is to take note of the division. So you write this this way. This q is this q to the power of 1. Uh, not to the power of 1, so I don't forget. r q uh, divided by uh, 5, p to the power of 3, r to the power of 1. So what do I do? This will cancel this, I'll be left with 2. So that will be 2. P is the power of 5. Because I'm dividing my minus 4. B, I have Q to the power of 1. I have R to the power of 3 minus 1. And that will give you 2. P squared Q R to the power of 4, 2. So this is what the answer will be for that. Question, question, and so let's try question 10. 
in question A, what do you have in question A? In question A, in question A you have 60 c is about minus 5 or negative 5 divided by 12 c raised to the power negative 3. Um, let me yet correct another impression here. Um, starting, I just started teaching you this, and I'm also taking for the victim of it. Usually, when you see minus, minus is an operator. So, even because of teaching you, I uh, make that mistake because let's be sure of what is right. Minus an operator. A sign in front of a number can either be positive or negative. For instance, if I say two, it's actually what positive two. If I say that, it will be what negative two. So let's take note of that. Operator different from what that number is called. Right. And what will this give you? This will be what? 60 over 6 to the power of 5 divided by what? 12. Over what? Series to the power of one, three. I see that. Now, that should be your foundational knowledge of uh, arithmetic here now. This should not give you what? 60 over 6 to the power of 5 times 6 to the power of 3 over what? 12. So you see that no knowledge is in isolation. 1, 5. So this will give me 5. C to the power of 3 minus C to the power of what? 5. Now, 3 minus 5 will give me negative 2 because what? The positive number is less than, or rather, I'm subtracting a big number from a small number. So this will give me 5 C to the power of negative 2, which I can also write as 5 over C squared. So that's for question N. So what happens in question O? In question O, I have 9x cubed, y to the power of negative 4, all over 3x, y to the power of negative 4. All right. So how do you solve this? First thing you want to do is to cancel out. Let's see if we should write that again. This will be equal to what? 9 over 3 x raised to the power of 3 minus 1, because this is what? I'm dividing to the what? Minus. What is this one? y to the power of negative 4 minus y to the minus what? Negative 4. If I subtract two numbers that are the same, I already get what? 0. So this will give me 3 x to the power of 2, and then these two numbers are the same, and I'm subtracting them, so that will be y to the power of 1, 0. And my final answer becomes 3x squared, because y to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So you will discover that in handling this topic, you really need to remember a lot of things. You really need to remember. Please don't rush it. You will need to watch this video two or three times, and see the, the steps and understand my choice of decision. Uh -huh. Somebody might solve in a different way, no problem, but my approach of solving takes into consideration the ability of a student to be able to control every aspect of his brain because the more aspect of your brain you can use when you solve problems, the better for you. So that's my approach. I don't solve with a particular approach. I, that's why, coming to solving problems, I try to prompt your brain to think. Okay, why in this direction? Why in this direction? Okay, why don't I go in this direction? Oh, I notice something. So this, what you see will prompt what you will do. All right, let's copy that quickly. Okay, so we'll go to, still on that, we'll go to question. Let's go to question 2P. Let's 
is one over is one into three minus three to the power x minus one. So add this on the question like this. How will you solve the question like this? So look at this. This is one by its one. I watch this. Into three minus. This minus means divided. So it will be three raised to the power of x. I watch it. Divided by three. Remember that x raised to the power of one is what? That thing. Or let's say three to the power of one. So that we don't forget. Notice that this is to the power of one. That clear? Please let's watch. So this is now the root one over eighty one. We take LCM. We know that this is also the power one. And this will be what? LCM of what? Three. Three into this will be one times that to be what? Nine. Three into this will be one. All right, three to this will be three times three nine. Three to this will be one times this one. Three raised to the power of what? X. So this will not give me what? This times this will give me what? This will not be what? One over the prior over it's one times three into um, this is three raised to the power of two. Minus what? Three raised to the power of x. Because two nine is three raised to the power of two. So this would be equal to this is three to the power of four plus one. That would be five. So that would be three raised to the power of two minus three raised to the power of x all over three raised to the power of what? Four plus one. Three raised to the power of three multiplied four times to get to one. That will give me plus this one here. That will give me 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 3 raised to the power of x all over 3 raised to the power of 5. Now, instead of something, the answer in this kind of setup can be anything. It can go in any direction. So, your final answer will be a function of what it was like in the OBJ question. But for me, it's just safe to do it this way. Since they are using minus, I would have expected that it should be division. But as they are using minus, I'm solving based on what I'm seeing here. Uh -huh. So that's one of the ways you can handle that um, question. Okay, I will solve question Q, but I'm going to vary my technique here a little. This is one over a to the power of balls. 4x square brackets into open bracket a to the power of 4x minus open bracket a to the power of minus 2x bracket minus raise to the power of 0. I think they should have made another bracket. Losing this, that's what I think it should be. Alternatively, I'll move this bracket, it's not necessary. But when I use this square bracket, it means that I open this bracket, so I'm also assuming that this is the problem. I am readjusting the problem to assume that. So this will give me 1 over 8 to the power of 4x. I want to take off this square bracket with the bracket 8 to the power of 4x. Now, deal with this problem. I'm going to see that problem. A to the power of 2 is 1. So that will be 1. So in this setup, I will choose to open up this bracket. So this will be A to the power of 4x over A to the power of 4x minus 1 over A to the power of 4x. This will give me 1 minus A to the power of 1 minus. 1 over a raised to the power of 4x. And like a problem like this, too, the outcome can change, it can vary. So, this is just one iteration of solving it. 
as we go deeper in the topic, I could change the approach. But this, for me, would be the best approach to take by solving this uh, problem.